this is Greg again at Advanced Thermal Solutions, and today we're going to talk about our line of open loop wind tunnels. So today for an example, we have the CWT-107, which is a research quality open loop wind tunnel. This wind tunnel, along with our other wind tunnels, features uh, a great open test section here with a, with a generous plexiglass see-through window. So this allows you to easily do airflow characterizations. The, this, this test section is, is easily accessible. Uh, the, the cover can easily be removed with four clips right here. And then you can open it up and, and access your, uh, your test specimen. So our, our whole line of research quality open loop wind tunnels is, is great for doing, uh, like I mentioned before, flow visualizations, but also thermal resistance measurements. Uh, whether you want to characterize uh, a heat sink and you want to just test a single heat sink and measure resistance, or if you want to test an entire, an entire PCB just like this uh, with multiple heat sinks. Our test section features many ports here uh, that screw, screw in and out, and this allows you to put all kinds of sensors in here, whether that's thermocouples or wires for heaters that you might put on your PCB. Uh, you can also uh, insert a pitot tube to measure velocity, or you could measure air velocity with a hot wire anemometer, uh, such as our uh, candlestick sensors, which are extremely low profile and, and they'll go anywhere on your PCB and you can measure velocity at different points on your PCB. You can also put pressure taps uh, in a test section and generate uh, pressure curves for uh, your PCB or your system that you're testing. So one of the things that makes uh, all of our wind tunnels great is that this contraction section has been designed specifically with uh, wind tunnel theory in mind so that the velocity profile in this test section is, is very even and the, the boundary layer is, is very thin. But what that means is that you're going to get uh, good predictable airflow across 90-95% um, of this wind tunnel. And um, so your, your tests will, will uh, you will have uh, good predictable results. Our wind tunnels can be oriented as, as this one is floor standing, so it, it doesn't take up a lot of floor space, um, and it's easy, easy to access. I mean, it's, it's right at a nice working height. Um, as well, all of our wind tunnels can be mounted horizontally um, if you have, have the room, and uh, that can also be easy to work on as well, so then you can work on, uh, on a piece in front of you. Our wind tunnels have a, a honeycomb in the bottom to reduce the turbulence, and the contraction section, like I, like I mentioned, is designed specifically um, to, to provide uniform flow in here. The diffusion section is also designed specifically uh, to, get, to help that even airflow. We have uh, screens in here to, to even out the velocity distribution. Also, this uh, fan tray can be customized with fans to match our WTC100 unit here. So this is our wind tunnel controller and it uses hot wire anemometers to measure the velocity and air, air temperature inside the, your test section here. And it provides closed loop control over the fan speeds so that you can maintain a steady air velocity in, inside the wind tunnel. Uh, so if you'd like to see how this works that with our included stage control software, then come with me to the lab. In our lab, we have our WTC100 attached to our controlled wind tunnel 106. Uh, and our WTC100 um, hooks up quickly and easily to our computer just using a USB connection. Uh, we've wired up the fans to the WTC100 and we've put our candlestick sensors in the test section. Uh, our stage control software is uh, really intuitive and easy to use. and um, we can set it up to perform velocity steps, and all you do, have to do is press start, and uh, the test will run automatically. So that's it for our open loop wind tunnels. To learn more about our research quality open loop wind tunnels and our other lab instruments, then uh, please visit our website at www.qats.com.